everyone, Joel Lancer and today we're in Reno, Nevada, going to a place called Mu Dang. Yes, we're gonna go eat some Thai food. I've been on a real big Thai food kick. I love Thai food. It's one of my favorite cuisines, in fact. And Mu Dang is supposed to have some of the best. So we're gonna go order a whole bunch, just a whole bunch of items, have a complete Thai food feast, let's call it. I'm definitely excited to try this out because I've done a lot of the best Thai food in California, neighboring state being Nevada, Reno. So I think this would be really cool to compare. Of course, all restaurants are slightly different, so I look forward to trying the different renditions. But uh, anyway, lots of Thai food, lots of fun. Maybe we'll make a little bit of a, uh, a big spread feast, whatever, out of it. And uh, so anyway, let's go have fun. Let's go eat some food. Hi everyone, we're here with all the food. It looks absolutely delicious. Like I said, I've been loving Thai food recent. And while I'm here in Reno, I'm like, hey guys, let's grab some delicious Thai. So, moo dang, I'm really excited, guys. So in front of me first, I have the krup pow. This is like one of the really signature dishes. We got pork belly in there, it looks awesome. I have then a crab fried rice. I like crab, I like seafood plus fried rice. It's really traditional kind of Thai dish. Um, I have a green papaya salad, which is fantastic. I love that freshness, kind of the crisp that the papaya has to offer. Then I have the nem tok beef, which is kind of like a salad. It's like a marinated beef. We got lettuce to kind of make it into a wrap, which looks fantastic. I also have the green curry. I got the beef in that as well. Um, I have this lovely sh fried shrimp and cashew dish back here. I love, love, love cashew dishes and Thai like is just the cuisine to have it. I then have the Penang uh, chicken, kind of like a curry. Again, a very well known dish. And then I have the coconut soup back here. Um, again, guys, this is a lot of food. But this looks so fantastic. I'm absolutely pumped. I have uh, some of their kind of um, house made specialty kind of hot sauce here, some chilies, some uh, garlic and everything in it. So anyway, like I said, guys, let's just dive in. Let's have fun with these food. Let's rock and roll. I'm gonna start with this uh, papaya salad here. I think this would be a good place to start. Nice, ooh, wow. Whoa, 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 okay. Salted peanut on it? What the, guys, it looks awesome. I'm definitely pumped. Okay, let's give this a try. Got some beans and some tomatoes and everything in here. Some, uh, I guess, is it, is it maybe just papaya? Let me, let me move the bowl out of the way, you can see what I'm doing. Guys, this looks great. So let's give it a shot. Mmm, mmm, citrus, amazing crunch. Something in there's a little spicy. Woo, like surprisingly so, but there's an amazing flavor in it. Mmm, a sweet tomato. I definitely get a really nice chili flavor. There's lots of limes in it. The salted peanuts on it too. It is absolutely fantastic. Mm. That is very, very, very good. Mm. But yeah, super, super delicious. Mm. What a great way to start everything off. Woo, nice job. Bit of heat to that, guys. Then I got some, some tea, some iced tea. Mm. But I recommend papaya salad. All right, next, I think let's try this uh, lovely looking beef. Now this, again, like, it looks like super seasoned. I think there's lots of basil in it. It just looks really, really, really good. Really like nice and marinated. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Mm. The beef is super tender. It has lots of basil. I get a little bit of like mint in there. Mm. The onion, the spices. So admittingly, again, it's pretty spicy. You can pick everything from a level of like one to five. I pretty much went with a three all around with the crump how I went with a, a five because I wanted to try how spicy it was. Let's try this little beef looking taco. I will say anything in a lettuce wrap and beef oriented is pretty dang good. So let's see what this is like. Mmm, man, you get that crunch. The beef is really, really rich, but it's not like oily. The onions, I think there's like little chives in that. Just like super good flavors, guys. That is dang impressive. Mmm, very good. That's another one I would definitely recommend. I don't think we had such a fresh, like a fresh dish. Like it's so much basil and mint. Who would have thought that beef and mint goes really well. I'm a believer. Maybe next I'll try this uh, cashew 
cashew and uh, shrimp. Now these are like a deep fried shrimp. This looks awesome, but I love the look of this. We got the um, celery, we have the onions, chives. It looks like maybe a little something else. Maybe, oh wow, guys, there's like, I think it's little rolls of, uh, I think it's rolls of chili, like, like little like chili peppers. Let's give that a bite though. Woo! Oh wow, so good. There's like nice chili pieces in there. Add a little bit of heat, nothing too intense. The richness of the cashews, the fried onions, our celery and everything. Great flavor combo. These lovely fried shrimp guys. The flavors I get is like a lot of soy, crispy, crunchy. There's also a certain flavor that it's very common in Thai cuisine. Mm. Wow. That I can't really place. I don't really know what it is, but Mm. Woo. So I hate to be that person and say it tastes like very Thai, but mm. just the richness of the flavors, the little bit of that chili paste, it is just beautiful. Yes, that is it guys. Cashew shrimp, love it. Next, I'm gonna try this Kra Pao. So this is one of their like favorite signature dishes. I did go with the pork belly on it, which sounds very, very delicious. So we got some peppers, I see some beans um, and onions, and it's kind of like a stir fry. Try with this pork belly, get it all in one big, nice looking bite. So like I said, this is, is spice level five. This is as hot as it gets. So this could be really, really, really spicy. Okay, mm. oh gosh. Mm. The freshness of that pepper, wow. Just like the lovely bell peppers and this great crunch, a nice sweetness from the red peppers. As they're sauteed, it brings up more of a sweetness. There's definitely a good bit of like rich oil. Definitely some chili oil in there. Get that chili flavor. This pork belly has a really good crisp on it too. Which is a really nice satiating like crunch. Mm. Wow, lovely pork flavors, giving you a really nice richness. I gotta say, for it to be level five, it has so much flavor, although definitely it's, it's, it's kind of spicy, and it's building a nice spice in the back of the throat. That butt was hot. I think it just ate like a whole, yeah, I ate a whole chili. That was hot, yeah. Oh, mm. the crunch of that pork belly was great. I jinxed it, I was just saying I like, well, the five's not that hot. And then I got a chili pepper, or it's hot. This is, you can get this like without the pork belly or without everything. This with the pork belly. Again, one of the signature most well done known dishes. It is such a good flavor. Mm. And there's a lot of pork belly in this. Arguably, I'd say there's like as much meat as it was vegetable. Thoroughly enjoyable. Mm. Very good. Mm. All right, still got loads of food. Guys, I love this. This is, this is good Thai food. And what's so cool is like, every Thai restaurant I go to does things a little differently, but, and I've never had a lot of dishes that I'm having here right now, like the Krup Pao. I've never had that before. That was fire. And I've never had a um, kind of that beef salad dish. That was so, so, so good. I'm gonna try this crab fried rice. Yes, crab fried rice. I've actually never had crab fried rice. Why I wanted to get it. And this, we got some really good portion of crab on top. Got that egg in there. Give it a bite. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That delicious taste of that seafood. Mmm. That egg. That little bit like soy. Some of the rice have a really nice kind of like crispy caramelized bit on it. Awesome, got some chives in there. Cilantro. Very, very like, again, just fresh. And that crab. Oh wow, this is some actually really nice pieces right up here. Mm. Mm, that was a good bite. Yeah, seafood, rich, but, what makes a really good fried rice? There's no oil on the plate. 
It is rich. It's done right. It's not greasy. It's not. It's not slipped in oil. So that's also a good buy. So green curry, beef, vegetables all up in there. Again, you can have this with rice, like your fried rice. Let's uh, deck this out. We've got the peppers, beans. Mmm. Okay. That mint cilantro. There's a little spice on that too. I think I got this a level three, but. It really seems to be kicked up. Like, some of the items uh, being like a level three, um, I find like you get a little bit more of the heat. The Krapow at a five, I didn't get too, too, too much, but this one is probably, mm, ooh. That is creamy though, wow. Yeah, arguably there's, there's a good bit of heat to this. The beef is tender. The vegetables are really like perfectly cooked. It's al dente, really, really enjoyable. That mint, that cilantro, guys, this is actually, so, so good. Mm. It is satisfying and it's perfectly balanced. And again, really good portions of meat in here. Like for the cost, I get another dish. And this is coming from a guy that isn't a big fan of rice. This tastes good over rice. Mmm. 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 But so good as is. Like you can just drink this curry. You do get the nice, just a, like the bit of the coconut flavor. It rounds it off. And there's, there's so all those really good spices. So. I'm a fan. Another fun fact about all these dishes is they actually use like a homemade curry paste. So it's not just like, you're not going to a store and getting a generic one. They really make it to their own flavors. And uh, whew, I tell ya, you, can, you can taste the difference. You can feel the difference. Very warming, warming sensations, everybody. That's for sure. But fantastic. Let's try this uh, other curry here, the chicken. Woo, got some broccoli in this. Now this looks a little thicker than the coconut. Again, generous portion of chicken. Oh, wow. Mmm. Guys, that is so sweet. Mmm. Ooh, wow. That chicken is just super tender. Like, look how tender this is. Wow. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Got a super tender chicken. The broccoli has a great bite. The curry is very creamy. I, I think maybe some onions in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's not, like it's not a, but no means it's overwhelming. Mm. It is so nice and delicate. That's impressive. I think there's even cabbage. Cabbage in here. Mm. Cabbage. Excellent bite. Mm. Like I said, so what I'd say this compared to the coconut, a little bit like, it's a little sweeter, but the curry flavors are just so, mm. Strong is not the right word. It's deep, 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 deep flavor. So pleasant. Mm. Woo. Again. Definitely a buy. All right, guys, so we're on to the last. We're on the, the coconut soup. I think it's called Tomka or something like that. Woo, guys, I am, uh, you, I tell you, all this Thai food, it heats you up. It warms you up from the inside. That's what they said about the spices. Very true. Mm. Oh, cool. We got a uh, proper little serving spoon, and I'm not gonna be that proper. Let's just, we'll just, we'll just dive in. I'll get a new spoon, though. And so in here, I got chicken, we got mushrooms, I got onions, looks like beans, tomatoes. Oh yeah, we got onion, yeah, like, like there's, and this is, this is super rich and creamy looking mushrooms. Let me get a good bite of this all together, see what this is all about, so. Hmm, okay. So it is like, you definitely get the coconut, But it's actually a relatively sour soup, believe it or not. Really like kind of a sour, pungent flavor in there. Then the coconut and the cilantro really rounds it. So you have this really tender chicken, nice crisp vegetables in a soup, which is like a little tangy, a little tart, a little sour. I've never had anything like that before, that's for sure. If I would have had a bite of this, like in between the curries or something, 
or like some of the other dishes, this would be a great way to kind of like break up the any of the richness. It's very like like a palate cleanser. Again, it's a little bit of acidity. Maybe it's a little bit of like citrus or something in it. Yeah, like really cool. Like again, kind of tart, sour. I've never had a soup like that before, but like comparably, again, it kind of does the same things like a maybe sweet and sour soup, but like the same kind of a little bit of sweetness, but that, just that little tang, a little tang. And again, definitely a palate cleanser. Like, I, I, I feel like, you know, after eating some of the rich items, it seemed like pretty rich, pretty rich, pretty rich, and this was clean. But uh, that's about that, guys. I'll probably have a little more of this soup, but I tell you, I'm full. That was a, that was a lot of food. But if you're ever in the Reno area, guys, Mudang, definitely a cool place to come on by. Uh, Mudang actually means pork. And uh, like I said, that, that crep pie with that pork belly was fantastic. The curries were fantastic. Um, like I said, that homemade curry paste, I think really that's what's doing it. It's really just adding in this unique, like it's such a warm, inviting curry flavor. Um, I loved the shrimp and cashew dish. That was great. That, be I forget, but the beef, the, the, the beef and the lettuce wraps, that was great. It was all really good, guys. I got no complaints. So that's about that. If you're in the area, like I said, stop on by. Tell them you saw some guy eat way too much food. And you decide to come on by and try some yourself. Don't try to eat this many dishes by yourself, though. Like, grab your family. Do it with your family. That was great, guys. Um, that's about it. So, of course, until next time, say happy, other hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed the video. Reno is a really cool spot. The biggest little town, I think they call it, the biggest little city. And uh, that's about that, guys. So until next time. Have a lovely day. Mm. Too good. And then here's just a little bit of, you know, kind of the Reno, like part of the Reno strip area by night. Um, you know, get some lights or some more neon up ahead. You know, like I said, it, it, there's like small, you know, reminiscence of, Vegas and all that stuff. So it's it's pretty cool